So-called smart wireless meat thermometers are nothing new. We've had a bunch of different versions on the market for a few years now, but their fussy wired connections and kind of rudimentary handheld receiver units have been pretty basic. So when I heard that there was a new wireless smart meat thermometer on the market that promised perfect cooking thanks to the technology of your smartphone or tablet, I knew I had to give it a try. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com and I recently heard about Meter, which is a smart wireless meat thermometer that you connect with your app on your smartphone and it promises perfect cooking every time. I had a chance to test it out for a few weeks and here's what I found. Meter is a small wireless Bluetooth meat thermometer. It connects to a free companion app and allows you to monitor your cooking, check temperature, and optimize your grilling or oven roasting. Setting the device up is pretty easy. First, you'll need to pair it to your smartphone or your device, and you need to make sure it's charged. Turn it on and do that by pulling it from the wooden box or case. You'll then instruct the app to search for your meter probe, and once it shows up in your app, tap to select it, then hit next. That's it. You can change the default temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit if you like, and then you'll tap Finish to complete the setup. The app will take you to a main screen that displays current temperature and cooking information about the probe. The nice wooden box that Meter comes in doubles as a charging station. With just one AAA battery, you should get about 100 charges, each lasting 48 hours. I'm still working my way to 100 to prove it. The back of the case is magnetic, which lets you stick it to the fridge for easy and convenient storage. Just by removing the meter thermometer from its storage case turns it on, so all you'll need to do from that point is push it into your meat. There's a very small, narrow groove near the top of the thermometer, and you need to make sure that is all the way inside the meat, or meter says you risk damaging the thermometer. The meter app is really easy to use. You just touch the button in the app that allows you to select your meat, the type of cut you're cooking, and the level of doneness you want. It'll also give you at a glance information like the target temperature, current internal temperature, and the oven or grill's ambient temperature. You can also use meter just to take a temperature reading if you want. You don't have to keep it in for the duration of the entire cooking process. Just by sticking the thermometer into your cooked meat, you should be able to get a temperature reading right on the app in just a few seconds. Meter is supposed to send you notifications when your cooking is done. The company's website and the app says you can opt for different audible and visual notifications when your food is ready, and says you can vibrate, sound an alarm, or even send a notification to your friend to make sure your food is taken care of. The first two cooks I tried using the Meter device, I didn't seem to get proper notifications. I got push notifications that basically popped up and went away immediately, and there were no audible audio alerts. As a result, I had two very near overcooks. I had a lot of ongoing problems with the notification process of the meter. Initially, I was only getting push notifications and no audio, so I went in and checked the settings and thought I had everything figured out. Turns out I was still only getting those push notifications and no audible alerts, despite the fact that I had selected a special audio alarm, if you will, within the device. This was an ongoing problem, like I said, that I had. I've got some more details about what I was facing and some of the troubleshooting I did to fix it on the blog at techgadgetscanada.com. It's a little tedious for me to go through here, so if you've been having problems with the notification process on your meter thermometer, head over to the blog and read more. Another problem I had with the meter thermometer is that if I took the phone too far away from the probe's location in the oven over here, it would randomly disconnect. And by taking it too far, I mean like 20, 25 feet just into the next room adjacent. So you don't get an alert when it's disconnected either, which is pretty disappointing. So I don't know how you're supposed to know this has happened. The only way I noticed it was randomly picking up the phone to just take a peek in on the app and I saw that it was disconnected. But this is yet something else that could result in you overcooking your food if you're not paying close attention. One nice feature is that the meter will send alerts to your Apple Watch, so if your phone needs to stay close to the oven to stay connected, at least you can still get alerts to the watch. There's a lot to love about the meter thermometer, but there are a few bugs in the system that I do hope the company will get worked out. One of the things I really liked was the handy and chic wooden charging case. It's also got that magnetized back so that you can stick it to the fridge or the oven and always keep it within reach. I really like that the meter is simple to use, the app is easy to figure out, and I enjoy being able to dial up the precise cooking information for any number of different meats just by pressing buttons in the app. Of course, you can also fully customize your cook and dial in a precise temperature if you want. Still, my major complaint is that the audible alerts weren't working for me, so you're constantly at risk of overcooking your food unless you're monitoring both what's going on in the oven and your app, which is kind of like cooking in real life where you have to keep an eye on your food anyhow. 
it's hard to know if this is a problem with the meter app or my Apple iPhone. I did double check all the settings on my phone and in theory, everything should have worked out perfectly for audible alerts. Nonetheless, I couldn't get any. Meter can be used in your oven or on a barbecue or a grill, so you do have a lot of versatility when it comes to how you use it. There are things to like about the app and the device in that it'll tell you what the precise temperature you should be aiming for is and it'll monitor that and you have to monitor it too. So there are some things to love about Meter, but there are those few bugs that you're going to have to keep in mind. If you're a serious home cook who just wants that temperature precision and some automated help, the Meter Smart Thermometer is going to be a good choice for you. If you're someone who thinks this device is going to save you from ever burning your food again, not quite. If you want to read the full blog review, it's online at techgadgetscanada.com. You can head over there and ask me any questions you have. You can also post them here on the YouTube channel as well. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'm Erin. You can find me on Twitter or Instagram. Until the next video, at Erin L Y Y C.